click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon hi friends in this video i want to develop the 2d I, from the 2d drawing i want to develop the isometric drawing the First you want to develop the isometric drawing, go on to the O snap settings and select the isometric snap. After selecting the isometric snap, check the all the dimensions in the right side, already explained in the previous tutorials in the description, the files are not available, you can download this all the drawing files in my blog. In the description, the blog uh, link is there, you can download the all of the files in my blog, all the, in the description, the files are not available and go on to the O snap setting after giving the isometric snap the cursor will changes first check the all of the it is in drafting and annotations or not this is in 3d you can also develop this in 3d model also in autocad i will explain this in my next tutorials and first draw the line of 52 diameter is required first to go on to the uh, snap and grid and select the isometric snap and click on ok the cursor changes see by selecting the five functional key you can change the direction the circle commands are not required for this isometric snap the ellipse command is required go on to the ellipse operation e l l i p s c ellipse and give the iso circle and then give the diameter i am checking i am giving the all of the diameter and, and considering all the dimensions in the radius in the radius i am not considering the diameter as per the drawing i want to make it large then only i am giving the radius you want to give the diameter that soft drawing is small as compared to what i am doing you can also practice this drawing in autocad you can observe what the operations i am doing the 54 52 diameter is required simply go on to the ellipse operations I'm giving the all of the operations only ellipse and the simply line command simply give the ellipse operation and select the isoplane tops by pressing on the functional F5 key the direction changes simply copy this and simply intersect to the end point of the vertical lines this is a simple tutorial uh, explaining in the isometric view this is a sharp detail drawing already explained this drawing in AutoCAD 2D and the drawing files are also available and you want to intersect this after that you can use the mirror operation you can mirror the all the objects in the other side also and the 52 diameter is completed and the 55 diameter of the part is completed then the 50 height is there and the 54.5 is there on the below the different types of diameters are there in uh, in this drawing by using the extend command extend all the lines by using the mirror command mirror the objects on the other side also by using the ellipse command ellipse the uh, draw the iso circle and of diameter 54.5 diameter is required i'm giving the 54.5 diameter it is showing small already explained you i'm giving you all the dimensions in radius see ellipse in the below you can observe i enter and specify center iso circle i'm giving not the d enter without giving the d i'm giving the diameter of 54.5 you give the 54.5 it is like this as compared to the drawing i am changing all the dimensions um, the dimensions is not changing only i am considering the radius option for this you want to show the circle i want to show the circles in a large position then only i am giving the radius you can observe on the screen then the circle is created of 54.5 then draw the one of the vertical line of 346 height the 346 height is required give the 346 height by using the line operation give the 346 height see 
फिर थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स है सिंपली कॉपी द लास्ट सर्किल वॉट यू डेवलप ऑन द प्रीवियस सिंपली सेलेक्ट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द सर्किल एंड ड्रैग इट टू द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द विटिकल लाइन then the one of the part 54.5 of 346 height of one of the part is completed simply intersect to the lines to the circle of the tangent positions are also to the end points of the circles then the the 49 height of 54 54.5 a diameter is required see Here also, I'm giving the 0.25 by using the ellipse operation. Draw the circle of I enter. The some of the mechanical calculations are also required to develop the any of the shaft. This is the simple drawing I'm explaining for the beginners only. And intersect the lines to the end point of the vertical lines. Simply, how much height is required? The 49 height is required. I'm giving the 49 half. Simply, you can also draw the height on the inside also or outside also by copying the object. See, the copy in the object is completed. The circle is copied to the vertical line end point. Uh, the two circles are completed. The 49 height of part is completed. Next, the 250 height of 60 diameter is showing on the figure. Next, I want to give the hatch operation by using the hatch operation. How it looks like? See, it is looking like this. After that, you want to give the 60 diameter is required. Draw the circle radius of 60 diameter. LLIPSC ellipse command. This type, this all the drawing is completing with only ellipse operation. This type of operations are required to develop this type of drawings. Ellipse and mirror extend uh, line trim. The basic operations are required. As compared to the drawing 2D drawing, this is the isometric view. It is look like a 3D object. But this rotates it not a 3D object. In, a, in the position is in one position only you can observe in the isometric drawing as compared with the 2D and the 3D uh, objects by using the hat by using the AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, three types of views are there to develop 2D, two-dimensional view, and isometric view and the 3d three dimensional view you can develop these three types of views all the drawings are also not possible you want to do some of the drawings are possible in autocad um, you want to develop the advanced 3d models you can use you should use the 3d modeling softwares like solidworks katia pro e creo also as for the requirement of the drawing as for the requirement of the client you can download all of the drawings and exact positions and the detail analysis also required you can use the by using the analysis software so by using the ANSYS software is required I will explain in previous already explained what are the softwares are required to develop this all of the drawings and uh, mostly the client does the analysis of the sort analysis is required and the detail analysis is required you want to change the circle see the major radius and minor radius you can observe by selecting on the circle by double click on the circle you can show the all the properties it will show all the properties of the circle the, 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 every object has a different properties and the ellipse and the arc center iso circle simply I enter and give the diameter of 60 54 sorry after the 54 the, the remaining height is 350 and the 50 is remaining the 54 diameter is required see the 350 and the 50 is completed all of the drawing is completed By using the hatch operations you can give the hatch operations on the on the top and the bottom side uh, in the isometric view the shaft is look like this I will explain this drawing in 3d in my next tutorial in KTA software in the 3D modeling software 
with threading also i will explain you uh, this is the model of the isometric view drawing in autocad you can check all the dimension by using the linear operations in the dimension style you can change by using this isometric view different types of angles are required already explained four types of angles are required 90 30 and the minus 30 and the some of the degrees are required you can give the degrees then it is the dimensions are also you can observe on the screen in perfect angle i will show you this is the total is 1220 after adding the 1170 plus 50 it showed 1220 by using the dimension edit command dim edit you can edit the command edit the angles of the text of the text line and the text height the text arrows also the three angle changes see by using the 30 degree it look like this you can give that minus 30 degree the angle changes on the front side these are the simple methods to develop the any of the isometric view this is the simple drawing apps learning for the beginners uh, the detailed drawings are also available in my previous tutorials and the drawing file also available in my blog you can download the all of the drawing files in my blog spot and it is showing the double three double one bearing i'm not explaining that you can also set the these type of bearings are required you can search on google different types of bearings you can observe on the google different types of image are also, images are also available in internet and then this radius already explained you before this drawing you consider the radius not diameter observe this observe the diameter and the dimensions also because if i work on diameter it looks like small I want to show it large then only I am use the radius option by this by this drawing only all the drawings I made in the as build drawings in the previous tutorials or on the as build drawings explain you already you can download the files the pdf and the image drawing file also available in my blog spot you can download the, all of the files and you can practice these drawings and see diameter is 127.37 required only 52 diameter if, because why it is showing 127 because i considered the radius not the diameter see the height are all same the object is also same but it looks like large then only i consider the radius option then the isometric view is complete this is the model of the isometric view in autocad